Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, Alleluia. of the great blessings Alleluia. we enjoy as children of God when we speak into I'm our day. And so, it is what because we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, Hit on that subscribe button and so then on that notification that bell, no keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to Alleluia. join us as we bless the world. You are There's a blessing. Thank you. Rising up. There's an army. There's an army rising up to break every chain, 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 break every chain. Can you just sing that part? There's an army rising up. There's an army. We are this mighty army. There's an army rising up. There's an army that is rising up. There's an army we're rising up to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prophet began to speak. Malachi, the prophet, started speaking and he said, There will be a sign that will characterize the coming of Jesus. He says, Shortly before the day of the Lord, Elijah will come again. Hallelujah. Did you know that the Bible never tells us anything about Elijah's birth, origin? It just tells us this, this wicked system, this she goddess called Jezebel, who was married to the king. Jezebel was a witch. She was not a wife. That's why she reappears in Revelation again. In the book of Revelation, Jezebel reemerges again. Hallelujah. The personality Jezebel was an adumbration of a system. Hallelujah. And the Bible says during her time, the prophets of God suffered so much. The prophets of Baal were reigning and they locked up and killed the prophets of God. Suddenly, a strange man without origin just emerged. The Bible says, and Elijah the Tishbite. From where he came, we don't know. We don't know who, where he was taught the things that he knew. The Bible says he was a representative of a spirit. Elijah represented the sword of God. And the Bible says when he showed up, he showed up for one assignment. To conquer that she goddess. And afterwards he left. Who is this strange man? Because we see him reimagine again. Jezebel is still in revelation. Elijah is still in revelation. Where did he come from? Did he just appear and Elijah the Tishbite? Where was he trained? Who taught him that the eye of witchcraft could not find? And Elijah the Tishbite rose up as a cry. The prophets of God were suffering. Only about 400 of them were being kept in disguise by a man called Obediah. No prophet could lift up his head and prophesy the counsel of God. 
and the bible says in response to their cry one great prophet elijah the tishbite a single man who terrorized the system of jezebel and brought her to her knees and the bible says before the day of the lord elijah will come back again but he will not come back as a person he will come back as an apostolic generation are you getting my point and is in the similitude of what was adumbrated in the old testament nobody understood nobody knew about the training he was he was a strange manifestation the bible says elijah the tishbite and this is the making of elijah's the spirit the authentic spirit of prophecy that will arise this is how his kingdom will come hallelujah and elijah the tishbite suddenly showed up and he began to cause havoc to this godless system i need you to know that you are a representative of this spirit of elijah this authentic apostolic and prophetic spirit and the first assignment of elijah is to destroy the altars are you getting my point the first assignment of elijah is not to call the names and phone numbers of people the first assignment of elijah is to come in with a dimension of god that has not been seen that will bring the powers that be to their knees this is why i raised this song to break every chain a reemergence of the elijah spirit hallelujah thank you jesus tonight i have i've just been praying for the teachings that we're going to be bringing that not only will we get puffed up with rema and knowledge hallelujah but that these teachings will sustain an ability to cause radical transformation in our lives we have said this is a season of light and brothers and sisters let me tell you there is a level of light that you carry you become a threat to the kingdom of darkness this is what we are training we are training you to become a light a light you will be so bright the powers of darkness cannot ignore our job is to expose the works of darkness and to bring people to accurate spiritual understanding hallelujah thank you jesus first timothy 4 verse 1 let's rush He won't stop till we look just like him. He won't stop. He won't stop till we look just like him. God is birthing something strange in these days. God is revealing something new in our midst he won't stop he won't stop until we look just like him he won't stop he won't stop first timothy 4 verse 1 now the spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons stop the bible says in the latter time there are certain people who for some reason will depart from the faith and will begin to give heed to what deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons very interesting it didn't say doctrines that were taught by demons 
doctrines that were manufactured from the pit of hell and brought taught accurately by demons verse 2 speaking lies in hypocrisy and having their own conscience seared with hot iron verse 3 forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from food which god has created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth the last verse was for for every creature of god is good and nothing is to be refused if it's received with thanksgiving let's just stop there hallelujah we're examining three things tonight tonight we're going to be studying the scripture hallelujah everybody say i receive light when when our eyes are open we will be able to mature and comprehend the things of the spirit deeper let me tell you something listen do you know what scares demons and principalities and powers it's not the statue of a man or woman are you getting my point it's not your english it's not your degree hallelujah but the degree of light the degree of light when you see the spiritual structure of a believer you can know his level in the spirit by the degree of light are you following me now so at the mount of transfiguration jesus revealed to us how his spirit man was are you getting me it was light so bright that the people could not comprehend it and every time we come before his presence by revelation we keep contending to attain unto that dimension of light and the degree to which we conform to that light is the degree to which we rise to maturity and that's a product of revelation the difference between revelation and information is that revelation transforms information just gives you awareness if it is revelation it must change you it was designed to change you if you truly understand it hallelujah praise the lord the bible says in the latter days verse one again please that men will give room to deceiving spirits who are these spirits where did they come from what is their ministry please pay attention brothers and sisters we are in a day an age that if you lack spiritual intelligence you will die are you following me now we need it as a matter of urgency in every generation there is always a contention of light and darkness there are people who just go around as social beings but there are certain people who understand spiritual things and are anointed to communicate the counsel of God to make sure that the banner of the kingdom is lifted throughout that generation and we happen to be that generation so it's important for everybody to pay attention there's a lot of error going on in the body of Christ listen please hallelujah and the error that is going on in the body of Christ is so deep it calls for immediate response hallelujah if we do not respond to the tragedy that is happening in the body of christ and we allow this jezebel to strangle away the prophets of god if elijah's do not arise a time will come there will be no prophets who will speak the counsel of god are you following me now there's a lot going on in the body of Christ, the continent of Africa, and especially our dear country, Nigeria. Nigeria is the firstborn of Africa. We are the model to the, the continent of Africa in terms of spirituality. Hallelujah. And it's important that we preserve the things of the spirit. There are three errors in the body of Christ 
that we trust God to address and correct tonight. Hallelujah. It's called apostasy. You know what apostasy is? Apostasy is a departure from the accurate truth of God's word. A departure. I preached a message, I think it was last year or year before last, the apostate church. You can get it and listen. A departure from not, listen, listen, please. I, I don't mean the departure from a doctrine. I mean a departure from the known patterns of God. Everything about the building of God's kingdom is not left for the discretion of man. Are you following me now? There is a pattern. God in his nature will not allow man to build his kingdom his own way. It has always been the character of God to create a pattern for man to access him. So apostasy is when by the activity of wicked spirits, men begin to deviate from the accurate pattern of God. And the Bible says this will happen in the latter times that some will depart from the faith. What faith? Christianity? No. 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 God never called us Christians. What is the faith? The pattern. There is a pattern that our fathers followed. They knew something that made them walk with God. They knew something that made the, the kingdom of darkness quake before them. And there is a gradual deviation. Please listen to me. The church in Nigeria is deviating fast. And there's got to be an, an intervention of Elijah. Because the few prophets of God who are left in the country are facing a lot. Jezebel is, is prospering on our pulpits, in our churches, across different places. And the prophets of God, the true prophetic and apostolic voices are being quieted until Elijah rises. And that there be an open contention between light and darkness to return the body of Christ back to pattern. Otherwise, we are going to lose it and we'll miss it, not just as a continent, not just as a nation, but as a people. Hallelujah. Say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 13, verse 25. Matthew 13. Jesus began to explain to us the tragedy that will befall the church. Matthew 13. Let's start from verse 23. Or 24. Let's, let's make it 24. And another parable he put forth to them saying the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed that man listen that man is god and his purposes and counsel so how did it start it started with good seed is that true he sowed good seed he created a pattern but something happened 25 the first four words one two go but while men This is how the spirit of the Antichrist began to enter the church. It began to cause men to sleep. The Bible says that a time came when the eyes of Eli started getting dim. And remember the Bible says the eye is the light of the body. That means if your eye is closed, there is no more light. No more illumination. There is no more access to divine things. And the Bible says that the eye of Eli started getting very dim. And that continued until it got to a point where men slept. Hallelujah. While men slept, when they began to intercourse with Babylon, when they began to respond to the promptings of this Antichrist system, when they began to do ministry by doctrines and 
patterns and methods that are not consistent with the way of God. The Bible says they started giving heed to deceiving spirits. Are you following me, please? And they started embracing the doctrines of demons. And men slept. And then the enemy came and did what? So tears. This is what is happening to the Nigerian church. There is a mixing of that which is authentic with that which is counterfeit. And all of them are being mixed in our churches, in our parishes, in our assemblies. And right now there is so much confusion. It will take the accurate eye of the eagle that is brought forth by the spirit of Elijah to divide between bones and marrow and show the church that no matter how this looks, this is not of God. Hallelujah. Because the Bible tells us something, verse 26. It says, but when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop, then the tears also did what? Appear. That means when they sowed it, it was there as a tendency, but it had not yet manifested. Are you getting my point now? A lot of people started ministry, hearing the voice of God, but they did not stay in the spirit for the Holy Ghost to keep walking walking on them and pruning out anything that does not become like Christ eventually as the ministry started expanding as the membership started expanding they noticed a strange thing happening in the assemblies that there were also tears that were growing verse 27 it says so the servants of the owner came and said sir did you not sow good seed in other words who gave these pastors this message where did this rema come from where did this doctrine these revelations that we have built ministries we have held conventions and meetings with teachings that have no bearing with the patterns of the kingdom the bible says they ask a question did you not sow good seed what happened on the way how then does it have tears 28 this is what made a lot of men of God think that what they are doing is right. Because in the wisdom of God and for the sake of we the elect of God, he said no. The, see, he said the enemy has done this. And the servant said to him, do you want us to go and gather them? That means should we start pruning? He said, ah, in the midst of these tears, there are genuine people. They are not strong enough to stand the heat of separation. So let them grow. Verse 28, 29 now. He says but he said no less while you gather up the tears you will also hurt the wheat are you getting my point now and so god allowed many churches and many ministries to grow in spite of their wrong doctrines money was still coming are you getting my point membership was still coming and because of that a lot of people thought it was an endorsement that they were doing the right things but right now the spirit of Elijah is suddenly showing up because the, the, the wheat has become matured enough for the separation to begin to take place. And the Bible says, 30 now, let both grow together. So no problem. Let the church grow even with the error, no problem. I will have a way by my wisdom to manage it but a day will come, the separation will happen. Are you getting my point now? There are so many people that have stood upon our pulpits and said a lot of things that have God has no hand in it at all. There are many conventions in this country that God has no business with what is going on. Are you getting me? They have organized God out of church programs. They have gone for ministers conferences and imbibed doctrines of demons by men and women who have no altar at all. hallelujah and the bible says let them both grow so they came back applied these things and it seemed to be producing results but right now it has gotten to a point where it's destroying the remnant of the house of god and except the spirit of elijah arises and addresses it the casualty will be too much it says until the harvest and at the time of the harvest, I will say unto the reapers, this is a strategy. First, gather together what? This is why 
we are beginning to attack these things because the season of the harvest is here the bible says you guys are farmers speaking to the nation of israel he said there is a way you can look at the atmosphere and you will know that the harvest is near and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn so it started with good seed the man of god started as a genuinely anointed person the ministry started as an authentic ministry but eventually while men began to sleep the bible says a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the eyes and it says poverty is not just lack deprivation of all sorts whether spiritual material and otherwise will come upon you suddenly like an arm bandit so these men began to sleep hallelujah and it was in that sleep you see this is listen how many of you have read the story of samson and delilah samson was a type of the church delilah was a wicked spirit are you getting my point now notice that samson was called to be a judge over israel and the bible says savior shall arise everything in the bible is prophetic it's an adumbration of something an adumbration means a foreshadow are you getting me a prophetic preplay of something that would happen samson was a man who was strong and he terrorized the philistines and then the bible notice every time men who symbolize the government of god appeared it was women that threw them down not women they were physical entities but this woman you know why woman because women have the capacity to give birth and reproduce their kind again this is why the bible calls this babylon this harlot in revelation 17 it says she's a woman that sits upon a beast that has seven horns seven heads and ten horns are you learning something tonight a terrible tragedy happening in the body of christ and listen when delilah came to samson she studied his weakness are you getting my point she carefully studied it she did not come with a sword i want to show you the mystery of men sleeping and the bible said she came and she donated her love free of charge for him correct the first time you see the nature of the glory of god is that the glory of god does not depart suddenly when the glory of God in the vision that was shown Ezekiel, when it was leaving the temple, it left slowly. Paradventure, the people would realize and repent. Hallelujah. The first time it happened, notice what is a woman looking for, trying to know the source of a man's strength. She didn't say, marry me. She didn't say, sleep with me. She didn't say, give me money. Are you following me now? she kept saying samson tell me the mystery behind your strength all she was concerned about was his anointing because it was with that anointing he will conquer the spirit of the antichrist are you getting me she wanted to kill the source of his strength and she found out that there was a relationship between his eyes his hair and his strength that was why when she captured him the first thing that happened was his hair the second thing that happened was his eyes I need you to know that all these women you see in the bible they were not normal they were envoys of demonic entities because they did certain things that did not make sense for instance why will herodias ask her daughter for dancing well she said make sure you tell the king that i want the head of john the baptist what do you do with head are you getting my point now there are many things that happen in bible that if you don't read with the spirit of revelation this is the error that many people have carried they have just read it theologically and they have bought for doctrines that are not accurate but the spirit of elijah comes dividing the word of god accurately hallelujah all through scripture we'll do a quick drive if it's possible as we as we continue and let me show you that the 
disguising through people and stories has been the same battle the battle of light and darkness are you getting my point now for instance the bible tells us that before the coming of the lord again there will be a repetition of the days of noah did you read that in your bible what happened in the days of noah because you see when satan fell when satan fell there are so many things in my head now Let, let's just continue wherever we stop do you know what satan told the angels that made them to comply don't you think satan would have told them something that was really captivating for them to leave their estate and to come down to partner with him are you getting my point now because of satan's access to the presence of god he had knowledge of mysteries and the bible tells us that this man called satan or then the son of the morning rebelled he had a he had a political ambition all this ambition didn't start from the politicians there is a spirit and he he made his manifesto clear in isaiah 8 uh, in, in 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 um uh what now isaiah 14 now i will do this i want to arise above the stars of god i want to be like the most high that was his manifesto but he deceived all of these people and when he was casted down he was casted together with a lot of other angels hallelujah and then when adam came i told you again that the garden of eden is not in the earth realm are you getting me that's why they cannot find it the garden of eden is still intact you go to the book of revelation you see the garden of eden still there with the tree of life nobody has taken anything that garden was withdrawn are you getting me it was a supernatural sphere the reason is look at the things that covered the garden a cherub and a flaming sword can a cherub and a flaming sword just cover something that is just three-dimensional hallelujah and man was driven out of that garden but there was a prophecy and this it was that prophecy that started this great battle are you getting me the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent and satan knows that every time jesus speaks he already has a strategy are you getting me please follow this when one of the errors that i want to correct i hope we'll be able to establish it is how many of you have heard of that thing called familiar spirits have you heard that statement i will show you the origin of the activity of what we call familiar spirits familiar spirits are not just out to monitor your life they are out to monitor the strategy of the spirit for every season Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Where do we start from? Okay. Are you getting my story now? And then, when Adam and Eve, when Adam knew his wife, and she gave birth to Cain, listen, please. Satan thought that Cain was going to be the person that God will use because they, he knew that God would need a man. Are you getting me? So Satan entered Cain. Are you getting my point now see i'm talking of the activity please let's go to first timothy 4 verse 1 again the, i want to show you the ministry of these deceiving spirits can you see where it started from lucifer deceived the angels are you getting my point now and they came down when man fell deceived eve satan always changes the patterns of god because every time god when god designed family please listen and 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 ladies you have to listen this is a very powerful message when god designed family i hope you know that god made man the head of that family is that true that means any correspondence through god according to his structure should go to the man notice how satan changed it satan went to the woman are you getting me and everywhere you see the manifestation of his spirit the woman there that figure tries to usurp it on the man jezebel are you seeing now herodias and all of these kinds of people 
this is what the bible calls the devices of the enemy stratomai the greek word his methodology it may have changed and metamorphosed through seasons but the pattern is the same that means when you sustain the eye of prophecy you can detect him at once are you learning something please so cain is born and satan makes a bargain with cain and cain begins to manifest another spirit and then the bible says how that abel shows up and satan suspecting that god may use abel began to move cain to kill abel are you seeing why cain why will cain kill his brother see it's time for you to begin to study the word not just to get sermons but for spiritual knowledge ask questions why will cain just kill the, his brother what for are you getting my point now when cain killed his brother in a passage of time the bible says cain started building a city the bible never told us that cain was an architect what made him to start lusting after building a city it was the spirit of the antichrist are you seeing because god wanted to build a city and name it after his son so the spirit of the antichrist through cain built a city and named it after enoch his son and that was where atrocity started from are you getting my point now and then it got to the time of noah god suffered long with them when it got to the time of noah listen to me listen to me noah was a very strange man he was not just an old bald-headed man noah walked with god are you getting me noah had a manuscript that he used to build the ark the ark was not just built carelessly of gopher wood and so on and so forth it was a prophetic message are you getting my point now noah had secrets that he knew that made him the head of the spiritual activity of that generation he talked with god he communicated with god he understood the mystery of the flood and that was the reason why listen please listen listen when they came out shem ham and japheth there were eight people again satan started looking for somebody else to enter are you getting my point so satan entered ham are you getting my point and the bible says he saw his father's nakedness he did not just see his father's nakedness it's a coded word he saw into the secret of what noah was supposed to preserve why will a man curse his son for just seeing his nakedness and say you will be a servant of servants is that cost not too much just for seeing a man's nakedness what of children that take care of their parents in the hospital and have to bath them and do other things it was beyond just seeing a physical nakedness it was opening something spiritual that he was not prepared for he was it was every time men shifted from god's patterns they suffered this was why he caused Cain. i mean harm and the cause that was given to ham if you read your bible very well was that he was going to serve his brothers is that true now satan found expression through ham go to genesis 11 don't you, i mean you don't need to open it but go to genesis 11 what happened suddenly another wizard who was the son of Cush, who was from the lineage of ham are you seeing now a man called nimrod nimrod strange man just appeared from nowhere a man who commanded such power he was a lord are you getting my point now how did nimrod gain so much influence and the bible says nimrod was a hunter we never saw one animal that nimrod hunted what was he hunting i will show you in the book of revelation that he was hunting for souls because satan suddenly realized that destroying men is not the way so he says let's adopt them and use them rather than killing them are you are you getting my mystery tonight the bible says it has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom there are things you understand that the devil will run away from you because he knows that light has brought everything that is darkness to bear are you getting my point now the problem with we preachers is that we just cut a lot of stories and tell people things that when they join the puzzles together it doesn't make sense listen listen 
I think I was talking to um, the, the, the music director and, and the worship team chairman. They came over to my place and I told them that I've been criticized for a lot of things. One of it is this faith thing. I believe in faith, but I've said this thing again and again years ago. That faith doesn't have to be on something you don't understand. Are you getting my point? The true concept of faith is not just built on shadows that cannot be understood. I said it last week. No pilot sits on a plane and says, Passengers, I trust God that we'll arrive safely. I've never learned how to fly this plane, but you guys just sit back, sit back and, 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 and enjoy. There's Jehovah Jireh, there's Jehovah Sikenu, there's our banner and all of that. And then the people sit down and say, Hallelujah, let's just be confessing. We will arrive. We will arrive. Plane corporate. We are now at 3,000 feet. Nobody does that. Are you getting my point now? So, faith is not a mystery. It has been turned to look like anything in the kingdom you just understand. Just, you don't understand. Just accept by faith. Have you had teachings like that? God said it. I may not understand it. I don't care. I, want, I don't want to understand it. All I know is that Satan is the bad guy. Jesus is the bad guy. We are for Jesus. Let's win him. This is what Americans are, are shipping into Nigeria. And we are laughing and receiving it and holding massive conventions and misleading people. Whereas the Bible says, do not be unaware of the stratomai. Satan is not an idiot. He has a, a strategy. This guy stayed close to the presence of God. Are you learning something tonight? So you see it, Nimrod Kush. He said, go to let us build a city. Build a city again. The same city that Cain tried to build. And then the judgment of Noah canceled everything. Now he says, let us build a city and let us make a name for ourselves. Listen, when you study Bible history, please listen. I want to show you the origin of occultism and witchcraft. Are you following me now? Don't say it does not concern you. The word is making you mature believers. Are you getting my point now? Do you know the origin of this thing we call occultism and witchcraft? Nimrod Kush, according to Bible history, was the son of Kush who married a woman called Samiramai. Are you getting me? And because, listen please, this is very, very important. Samiramai was a witch. These were people that were possessed. They were incarnates of hell. Are you getting my point? Envoys that wanted to continue the agenda of God. Samira might killed Kush, her husband. Are you getting me? And Satan came and interpolated this thing. Satan came and made Nimrod to believe that in this new move and in this kingdom, he was going to make him Lord. He was going to be great. And the price for that is that he will aberrate the normal progression of, of human beings. And then Nimrod married his mother. Are you getting my point now? So Nimrod married. Are you seeing how Satan was twatting the, the, do I call it the genetic code of human beings? Nimrod married his mother. Can you imagine? Now the son, I don't know what, what they're going to call the son now. Huh? His mother is still his grandmother. As ugly as it is, listen. This was the mystery of what began to happen to Nimrod. Nimrod was a hunter of souls. His job was to exert so much influence that he would bring people to himself. Because in Revelation, when he began to tell us about this mystery Babylon and all the commodities she does business with, he called the souls of men. Is that true? Is that true? There's no time, you see. God this time thing i wish like i feel like busy seeing this watch praise god <laughs> you just sing praise and worship and it's 10 o'clock <laughs> praise god kai this time is limited bear with us honestly these are not the kinds of things that you don't just come and share a message and it's boiling in my spirit because i want us to get it 
Praise the Lord. Are you understanding my story? All through scripture, when you trace, you will see that this spirit looks for women in every generation that will represent its operation and look for men that will compromise. Are you getting me? That was where witchcraft and so on and so forth started. And then all these things called divination and necromancers. All of these things happened. When Saul was king, there's no time. But I hope you read your Bible very well. You remember that? Remember when Saul was king? Saul dealt with diviners and necromancers. Is that true? He frustrated them so much. According to scripture, there was only one woman that was left. One sorcerer. One necromancer. And the Bible says a time came when Saul slept and he deviated. Alright? It didn't use that exact word, but I'm just using it. When Saul deviated from the things of God, he went to go and consult her. Is it in your Bible? And when she met him, he, he, he concealed himself. And she said, ah, don't disturb me. Saul, is, Saul has made life bad for us. No business in this city again. And he said, no problem. I vow I will not tell Saul. And he said, whose spirit should I invoke? I'm going to show you how men of God operate what you call the prophetic. That they invoke the spirit of the dead. Correct? It's happening in many churches. Somebody dies and they invoke the spirit of that dead person. I want to show you how they use necromancy. And when they do that, they invoke that. And the Bible says she invoked in her vision. She was seeing an old man coming. And Saul, and Saul told her, I said, who do you? Do you see him? Tell me about his appearance. And Saul from and Samuel now seemingly from the vision told her the man that is standing with you is Saul. And she turned. She said, ah, ah, are you not Saul? He said, ah, sorry, it's true. I'm Saul. But call me the spirit of Samuel. You think that was Samuel? He looked like Samuel. Talked like Samuel. Where did these spirits come from? I want to show you. See, it didn't start with Africa. So don't let westernization tell you these things are unnecessary. They have been there in scripture. And if we don't gain knowledge of this truth, we will die like mere men. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord. Diviners and different people. Let me tell you something that happened. See, most of these entities that you call how many of you have heard of demons being disembodied spirits have you heard that word disembodied spirits what does that mean that means that there are spirits that do not have a body to find expression is that true that means they are consistently under frustration Jesus himself taught us that when that spirit leaves a man, it becomes restless because they need material medium to communicate. There is a law in the earth realm that if you do not have a body, you cannot function here. Are you getting my point? Let me tell you how this demon started. I hope we we'll have time. Can I talk to you? See, the Bible says, listen, demons are not the, uh, they are not the only wicked entities in the satanic kingdom demons are just a class of wicked spirits there are others for instance principalities they are not demons are you getting me i have come to the end of myself take over jehovah i have touched the end of myself Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Listen, I hope you believe what I'm telling you. Listen, how many of you? have seen certain people maybe those who do a lot of occultic things when they leave their body they make sure they close the room so that nobody comes to push their body you know why because they must return the same way they left if you shift their body they are not dead but the spirits cannot return to the body again are you understanding what i'm saying 
there are many spiritual entities like that in the spirit realm please listen to me i want to tell you some things that will bless you we said this is a year of light this is solid meat light that keeps you in command dominion will happen naturally you don't claim it light brings you into it are you getting my point we are we are demystifying this deity called satan once and for all so that you will know that the church will truly be a victorious church listen satan led these demon spirits are you getting i mean angels now are you getting my point now this was what because it is within the character of angels to translate themselves is that true that means they can change state there are different kinds of angels maybe when we deal with angels we talk there is a northern army there are different there are messenger angels there are cherubs there are seraphs there are different kinds of angels now satan led a campaign and told these guys together with I've, I've, i said it the last time apollyon leviathan have you heard of all these spirits they were real spirits together satan didn't just do alone it was supposed to be that he would spearhead the rebellion and if it worked it would be chop by chop so all the demons that helped him are you getting my point now <laughs> when you read the book of psalms and see the things that the psalmist began to speak you will see that the spirit of revelation was upon him hallelujah are you getting blessed can we continue all right please make sure you are listening this is not let me tell you something with revelation if you get too used to it the devil can use it and kill you are you getting my point he won't kill you just by oppressing you he will make you so puffed up revelation that should deliver you is not delivering you but anybody who wants to talk to you you will begin to break these scriptures and say let me give you a rundown of how everything started and then it's not help this is what is happening so we must open up ourselves and please listen i'm serious and contend for change this is not to equip you to now run to your fellowship or your church and say for the next four months i have a message and this is what people do and then start running and say ah i must do this i must do this there are angels there's apollyon have you heard of him and they say wow from whence cometh this kind we have not seen it in this fashion the goal of revelation is not entertainment brothers and sisters is to equip you with light that dispels every darkness hallelujah now listen these angels translated themselves are you getting my point in the days of noah and they started having intercourse with women physical women that means you know that the child they will give birth to will not be pure human that's the origin of giants are you seeing that that's why the children that they had six fingers six to superhuman abilities can i surprise you that breed is still in the earth today this is what scientists saw that they called x-men what is x former what was the revelation behind their producing these films you were just watching and eating popcorn in cinema and nodding whereas this is a mystery they know a war is coming all of these scientific films keep telling you a war is coming and that battle is between mankind and another race this was the whole subject of lord of the rings and they had to consult other kingdoms and bring their kings together and it was a human uh, one little boy called frodo that carried the ring a symbol of authority all the other kingdoms backed him up these things are spiritual messages these scientists through through zodiac and and astrology and all kinds of divination they can peep into spiritual things it's not that they know the future are you getting me how do i put it now help me look at me how many of you know which countries are ahead of nigeria time wise what what is uk how can you say uk us let's let's just assume please listen we, we don't have time let's assume australia how many of you know that when australia is saying 18th we are still in 17th so that ability to peep ahead that's what happens in the realm of the spirit because of the regulation of times and seasons 
are you getting my point it, this is what is adumbrated in geography that it is possible for one region to begin to access certain things before the other one it happens in the spirit too and this is the principle of divination Help us, oh God. Take me to the place, the place you are, that secret place. Take us, Lord. That's where I want to be. Take me to the place. You are the secret place. The secret place. That's where I wanna be. That's where I wanna be. Let's rush. Error number one. I touched it in the realities of heaven and hell, but I just feel like touching it again because the message didn't strike the chord the way I want. So I want to touch on the issue again. Messages from hell, divine realms. That's number one error that needs to be. Listen to me. I don't know how many women have shaved their hair, sold their cover shoes, and did a lot of things because, listen, this is a very serious message right now. Certain people claim they went to heaven or went to hell. Listen, I explain all these planes to you and you will see sense in what I'm saying now. And they brought the core message in the body of Christ now. It's not the Bible again. Is who came with what from where are you getting my point these are the deceiving spirits and the doctrines of demons remember the bible says if god did not cut the time even with the elect can be deceived what kind of great deception can make people to see a lie and take it as true are you getting my point it must be a great deception so what is it the bible says or the people the story somebody just comes back oh i went to hell and then you print cds you print books now there are a few people who will trust their experiences very few as a matter of fact they were the initial people people like like um what's her name mary baxter and so on and so forth all these many things that they do now those people when they came back they even gave the cds free because of how much they wanted to be dissociated with this world huh but right now what we have is nonsense and there are many church pastors in an attempt to show piety and response to spiritual things this is the result of sleep they invite all these people these these people and they come back uh, they come to pulpit and cry ah i went to hell i saw your mother i thought your mother died she gave me a message it's her name not jane you say yes my mother's name is jane i saw jane i saw jane she was crying in hell and she could talk crying have you have you seen a house catching fire have you seen the people inside listen please this is not criticism please i'm just addressing something this is the spirit of elijah are you get what i'm saying a lot of people came with revelations those of you inside outside if you are hearing me shout praise the lord listen these revelations are destroying churches right now destroying families are you getting my point people came ah you went to hell why did you go to hell your skirt didn't reach here why did you go to hell okay um this pastor you were supposed to drop five naira what where is the five naira that's where you are going somebody went to hell seemingly and brought back the list of the names of almost every man of god alive right now that they are sure candidates of hell this is somebody that got born again he was not up to three weeks and he seemingly went to hell i will show you the mystery of what is happening i wish we have time tonight i would have shown you something powerful It's the strategy of the devil the people are innocent are you getting my point 
don't be angry at the people they do not even know that they themselves are under deception Paul says I was caught up to the third heaven that means there are other heavens there is the astral realm there are a lot of other realms there are galaxies all of these galaxies and planets I hope you know some of them have inhabitants this is the mystery of aliens this is the mystery of aliens there is a lot of story we don't know in the earth they just gave birth to you in the middle of history is what they taught you from social studies to what again social science history government and then you read political science or whatever it is and you believe you know the world no there is a lot more there is a lot more hallelujah there is a lot more there is a lot in this earth realm that we have there are portals in this realm there are many people you see in the earth realm that are not pure human beings they are moving like you they talk you've eaten with some of them in the restaurant they are not pure breeds these are agents of darkness preparing for the revival that is coming i read an article as far back as 19 i have the documentary as a matter of fact about people who went underground is that true they went underground and they saw a place designed by aliens that can see 20,000 people and there is an altar in the middle when you stand in that altar and talk they will hear you everywhere no mic verified scientifically don't you know there is a world under the earth Philippians chapter 2 that every knee is not just talking about hell alone What have they not told us, brothers and sisters, that is responsible? I will show you how this applies. So that you will see how your family got into it. Your innocent father from the village was just moving around. Nothing missing, nothing broken. He entered into what he didn't understand. Look at what a lot of believers are suffering in today. And one of the error, one of the error, that I wanted to talk about is the negligence of spiritual laws. Many of us have, listen, listen, and I don't say this to criticize. There is an exaggeration of what we call the grace message. I've said this thing again and again. Please don't be offended. I'm just telling you the truth in love. There is a jurisdiction to which when the grace message steps out, it will be misleading there are people right now that they almost don't read the old testament you open they say what are you doing with the law i have a question what is law what really is law what is the cause of the law that christ redeemed us from is it ten commandments is it other mosaic laws or ten commandments plus them is it spiritual laws a lot of people speak and say ah oh, all of this law is gone there's nothing law nothing again but you believe in the law of sowing and reaping and you teach give and it will be given and a lot of people say even god cannot do anything so which part of the law has been abolished we'll talk about that in another teaching we have a lot of series this is a year of light we trust god to open our eyes not to go and start criticizing people but to be the light a reference the devil is in trouble this year there are things I will explain to you you will never be afraid of death again. There are things I will explain to you you will know that even this mystery thing called deliverance you will understand. Who are these people that follow people quietly to church and come and sit down? And later you say in the name of Jesus and all of these kinds of things. We will explain it. When you understand this, I'm telling you, you will just start laughing you won't even pray let me tell you there are two ways to bind the devil one is prayer the other is revelation when authentic light enters you you grow out of some things at once deliverance is going on right now it's just that many people their concept of deliverance is ah you fall down i want to go i want to no no it's not it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do those things light is what drives away darkness permanently 
You see, that's why if, if I deliver Tosin, for instance, I lay hands on her and she rolls, rolls, rolls and stands up. Listen, and there is no light. Do you know why certain deliverances are so easy? It's not because the man is powerful. The demons are mocking the man. He has no spiritual intelligence. They just stroll out and allow him to go and he feels wow at once. As soon as the person goes out, they use anger or something and enter back together with the seven that they have gathered. This is why you find out that there are many churches and men of God struggling with deliverance again because the whole service from morning till night is deliverance. There is a balance. He sent forth his word and his word healed them and delivered them. But my only trouble is what people call word is not what God is calling word because their word is not healing, their word is not delivering. That means it's not the word. Look at me. Ella is a fair lady. If I tell you Ella is coming to see you, expect a fair lady tying something in her head with, with a ribbon or what is that thing? You see that? Are you getting me? If I suddenly decide to come, am I Ella? If I tell you my name is Ella, this is how many people's revelation. I'm sending the word. It will do this right now. It's not doing it. And the Bible says if it is the word, some things should happen. So if it's not happening, it's not the word. It may be scripture. The word, listen. The word is not just this. Are you getting me? Because until the apostles came, there was no manuscript but the people understood the word so what did they call their word what did they call their word of god he said ye are clean through the words that i've spoken to you that word can clean you that's what he's doing now So divine revelations let's just look at one scripture luke 16 let's settle this issue once and for all please can we look at just one scripture we may not be able to touch the honestly there are three issues i thought we'll be able to talk about okay we are there there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple royalty and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day 20 and there was a certain beggar named lazarus listen every time jesus mentioned name it was not a parable necessarily it was a real experience you understand in jesus's parables he described men by what they did not their names which was laid at his gate are you seeing the contrast now it says full of what source verse 21 and desiring to be fed with the crumbs so on and so forth 24 okay no 23 i saw something i'm looking for there ah we've gone far can we go to 22 let's start from there and it came to pass that who died that's lazarus right lazarus died and was carried by the angels to abraham's bosom that's another issue there hallelujah and the rich man also died and was buried so two of them died they've now left the earth let's see the drama that happened 23 and in hell so a definite place hell is that true he lifted up his eyes being in torment and seeth abraham afar off all right that's abraham's bosom and i'll tell you why and lazarus hey i had a revelation brothers and sisters that opened me up do you know that unlike the teachings we have been teaching that abraham could not give birth because he was impotent is not true abraham slept with hagar did she get pregnant what is the impotency about him this was simple logic I said, come on, ah, is this not the Abraham we are saying is the deadness of his body? And this, this guy slept with, with uh, Hagar. And Hagar was strategically positioned by Satan in that place. See, when I show you these things and as we explore, you will see, ah, may God help and redefine our Christianity. You will see that Jacob was not a thief. 
Jacob was replacing what happened between Isaac and Ishmael. You see that? That thing that looked like that's why it's not called God of Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. It's called God of Ab didn't, is God blind? Didn't he see Esau? It's called God of Abraham, Isaac. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. So, it was in Abraham's bosom. Alright, 23. And he cried and said, This is the man now in hell. Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the, thing, dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Um, that flame is not just fire like you know. Because I hope you know their physical bodies are in the earth here. So what kind of fire will torture their spirit body? It's not just the kind of your fire here. Spirits can walk through this fire. Are you getting me? This is a strange kind of fire. It's a fire that causes thirst. When it destroys you, it not only are you going through pain, but it makes sure that there is thirst. It can absorb everything and cause you with the feeling of thirst. And it's very frustrating. Look at this guy. He didn't say let him send... Um, something to quench the fire he was asking for a drop of water and Abraham said son remember in your lifetime you received good things this guy received evil but now he's comforted and thou art tormented 26 now divine revelation please listen and beside this there is a gulf between us so that they cannot pass here and there and there we'll talk about this another time Hades Abraham's bosom and so on and so forth 27 then he said, listen, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou would send him back to the earth. Are you seeing now? Send him back to the earth to my father's house. So let's see. See, let's walk with what the Bible says. Is that true? Do you believe the word of God? You believe it's the final authority. And you believe it's a more sure word of prophecy. So let's examine the word of God. 28. For I have five brethren that he may testify unto them lest they also come into the place of torment so what was his request please come back to the earth with divine revelation abi go to my family and tell them ah i just came back from hell if they hear you their heart will melt and they'll change i don't want them to come here 29 what happened abraham said they have moses and the prophets let them hear them in other words, it is not God's original strategy to bring people back from the world of the dead to come and bring revelation to the inhabitants of the earth. Abraham was saying, listen, this is not a normal route of God's dealings with people to make them grow. Are you getting what I'm saying? Abraham said they have Moses, the law, and the prophets. They have, they have preachers already. They should listen to them. Verse 30. And he said, nay, Father Abraham, but if one went on to them from the, from the dead, he said what? They will repent. Is that true? 31. And he said unto them, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Listen. So these teachings of people going and coming, say they went to the dead and they came back with messages and they saw this and that and that the bible tells us the living and the dead have no relationship is it in your bible is it in your bible that there is something that separates the living and the dead it is appointed unto man to die once and after that the judgment i believe in the resurrection are you getting what i'm saying but by divination people's spirits have been invoked and a lot of things have happened can i tell you many of these places these people went to were certain realms in the spirit they had never been there please get what i'm saying some of these beings they encountered were not jesus christ they encountered spirits if you see a spirit in the realm of the spirit you will still need spiritual intelligence to relate with them because satan can appear as an angel of light 
Jesus said it. When he sent the 70, when they returned, he said, I've seen Satan's next strategy. The next strategy is not to be a demon again. He has translated himself as an angel of light. And he's now going to go to pulpits as angel of light. He was revealing to them a strategy. He wasn't just telling them that Satan has just fallen like that. Mm -mm. Hallelujah. Satan saw that Jesus could give his authority to men and they could legislate on his behalf. He gave Satan an idea of the next strategy. He said, why not I translate myself and come as an angel of light, wear suit and start gathering these people rather than killing them, let me use them. So Jesus began to tell the disciples, I'm praying for you immediately. I've seen something that will happen. Satan has now changed his state to become an angel of light. And he's moving around as elders in churches, moving around as overseers, moving around as different things and recruiting men who are entering deception and delusion without knowing. But we are this army that God is granting us light alongside many other remnants across the surface of the earth. And we are the ones who will break the hold of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me show you one more scripture. These are the scriptures that talk about out of body experiences. Paul now, the apostle himself. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Please let's rush. One error we have to kick out of the body of Christ. The messages the people bring. Notice, listen. The Bible says, you shall know a tree by what? It's fruit. That's whatever proceeds from that tree. Is that not true? That means like who, who said it? I, I think it was Mike. That said everything God creates he leaves an imprint of himself if God gives you a word and is from him there will be something about his karagma on that word how many people tell me the truth have been comforted by the recent divine revelation teachings how many that you know there are so many people who have gotten into religiosity people locked up their businesses people packed out of school other people went somewhere people just killed a lot of things fashion designers stopped their businesses they are broke now they are suffering because they told them that anything anything at all oh if you see we've won it came from the the marine power if you understand satan you know that he does not have the power of creation he has an ability to mimic and corrupt that which is created are you getting my point now I, I, you can everybody has his personal belief and all of that i'm not but i'm just saying the reasons people are giving there is only one reason why people are in hell rejecting the gift of salvation that jesus brings are you getting my point oh a man of god did this this water was for bishop and he quickly drank it and when he was going out guy hit him and he found himself that means all of us are going to hell you see that is killing what the bible calls the assurance of salvation so many people even preachers they don't know again whether they are saved or not hallelujah many people don't know whether they are saved or not and now the only way because that's the next thing i wanted to talk about is the false presentation of the gospel of holiness because there is the authentic gospel of holiness. I tell you, this one may, is probably one of the biggest disasters that has happened to the church. What has been taught to be the gospel of holiness is not what Jesus taught. Are you getting my point now? Because a lot of people believe they are going to go to heaven based on the things that they have kept and avoided or done this and that no sir hallelujah you have no right to take a revelation and begin to yoke it on people based on your perception of truth you see let me tell you something the army that god is raising is an army that must remain as students we must create a posture that shows that we are students such that you are not ashamed 
to confront the revelations you have held as authentic when you see a higher light we must have that humility there's nothing embarrassing to accept that look i may not have seen it in this light i was blind but now i see the bible talks about a man called apollos he was a learned man in acts 18 the last few verses and the bible says but he knew only the baptism of john is that true and then aquila and priscilla came they called him and they expounded to him more perfectly and he was humble enough to receive and then he now went to the temple and began to debate and argue intelligently there are lots of people in the body of christ who are under bondage terrible bondage that innocently came but it's a product of the spirit of deception for instance there are many people who believe that if i let me use a lady come if i give this lady a hug more ah this this may be a problem i've done something i've compromised it can cost me my salvation and so because i have to shift to that religious mode listen please i'm not criticizing any any church are you following me now this is an apostolic teaching it's a teaching to the body of christ salvation is personal your dealings with god is personal and it's time for us to kick the walls that are stopping us from entering the authentic experience of the kingdom because of this right now the guy can sit down he does not yet have the ability to conquer lust but religious mold has made him to know or to feel that okay you must confirm and then people are looking at him and he looks like a sanctimonious brother whereas he's dying with masturbation because that's the only thing he can do and the devil says this is exactly what i want and then he uses it to bring condemnation and the guy gets up and before men he's wonderful and he's struggling and the sister is struggling and they go back and keep doing it there are all kinds of atrocities happening in our churches pastors sleeping with members many things are happening everybody carries a nice cloth and we come and hide under this demon called religion hallelujah that does not mean we'll be lawless this is the balance again because some other people in an attempt to address this just like me they tell people okay fine don't be religious don't do this dress anyhow do what you want to do say anything so you can be in the church i can be preaching and a lady can just come and i'll just hold her give her a nice peg and say sweet how you look sweet and you sit down those garbages will be part of what will exit out of the body of christ there is a lot of another dimension of imbalance are you getting my point now we have all kinds of carelessness i believe that these things are not the things that determine salvation but then there, there are some things that just don't make sense a man of god comes hanging all kinds of chains around him with all kinds of rings tearing his jeans sagging them i mean i'm not talking of a guest some a little youth meeting or boot camp this is the, the, the default he's the overseer of the ministry he comes with his glasses comes and all that is nonsense it's a spirit of seduction hallelujah a woman comes on stage and she's preaching half of the message the brothers are not following their minds are they are just struggling lord i will make heaven i need to grow this is another balance so let me balance it very quickly because there are a group of immature revivalists arising in their bid to contend these things in the flesh are just telling people be as lawless as you can be that's a sign that we're out of the law there is a balance we're a disciplined army we're not idiots liberty is not rebellion hallelujah thank you jesus
Second Corinthians 12 from verse 3 to 4. Did I say? From verse 3 to 4. Verse 3. And I knew such a man, Paul speaking, listen please. Whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knew it. For how that he was caught up into paradise and had what? Unspeakable words which are not lawful for men to what? Is that in your Bible? That means all these ones that people go. Have you not seen that many times when the apostles see revelation, he tells them, seal this. It's for an appointed time. But now people come back with every message. This is deception. Are you getting my point now? There are a few people, however, who we have judged their revelations based on the integrity of God's word. And we have found that their messages have brought healing and hope to the body of Christ. For such kind of people, we commend them and we endorse them. But even at that point, their word does not become the final, the final, uh, what do we call it now? This thing that they, yardstick. I cannot begin to run my ministry after Mary Baxter's vision. Are you getting my point? I've had a lot of visions. I live in the realm of visions. I can never run ministry just based on visions. Ask the leaders. Every time I see anything, no matter how authentic the experience is, the word of God must prove it, not confirm it. Prove it. Prove it. The Bible didn't say confirm all things. It said prove all things. If you are looking for confirmation, you will find it. You will find a scripture that endorses a man sleeping with a woman, although they are not married. It's in the Bible. The Bible is a prophetic book. You can make it speak any language you want. The Bible did not say use the Bible just to confirm things. Prove it. Test the spirit behind it. Everybody now is looking for confirmation. So we get the revelation from all kinds of realms. That's the reason why you go to native doctors and the rest, you see Bibles there. Because since it's Bible you want, they keep it there for you. When it's time to do the spell, they say, lay your hands on the Bible and swear that you will be faithful. And you swear, but they will still do their demonic things. And you will be convinced that because there was a Bible there, it was God. Because of this deception. You don't use the Bible for confirmation. The Bible proves all things, yet nothing proves it. When I talk of Bible, I'm not just talking about the error of men. I'm talking about the edited spirit word that is given. Hallelujah. What do I talk about again? I want to show you something. One other error in the body of Christ is neglecting the reality of spiritual laws. I said it. Everybody say it after me, both inside and outside. Spiritual laws abound. They exist. They are real. As real as physical laws. Look at me. Do you know why God did not kill Cain? when he sinned because he knew that there were spiritual laws at work are you getting my point and those laws will catch up with him are you following me now when you violate certain things and some things happen to you it's not like god brought it there are laws are you getting my point jump from this building now praying in tongues as you are jumping for no reason it's not like they threw you to destroy you that you expect you expect the hand of god just jump from it what do you think will happen to you because of the existence of a law now watch this regardless of that law a plane still moves is that true does the movement of the plane stop the fact that there is that law it means it's operating by another law that shields it are you getting what i'm saying curses are real yokes are real manifestations of witchcraft in lives and families are real they are very real listen these are spiritual laws what light does for us is to tap into what christ has done and exempt ourselves are you getting me 
Let's look at one scripture and then we'll pray. That does it for today. Just one scripture. I want to show you a scripture. Psalm 64. Let's trace these activities of those we call familiar spirits. Every time I teach, it's always in my culture to try to bring balance. There is a lot of junk about deliverance, demonology, and so on and so forth. However, I believe that there is an accurate perspective that we can look at to gain understanding. Hear my voice, oh God. This was the psalmist praying by revelation. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy too. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Verse 3. Hmm. Who wet their tongue like a sword. That means these guys speak certain things. And bend their bows to shoot their arrows. Even bitter words. Verse 4. He said that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly they do shoot at him and fear not. Verse 5. It says they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They, com they commune of lyingness privately. They say who shall see them? 6. They do what? They sat out. Who are these people that search out? They go to an extent. Where did they write it? That they go back to archives and search out iniquities of families. Are you following me now? This is in your Bible. They search out iniquities. He said they accomplish a what? Diligent search. They are meticulous. When God opened my eyes to this, it surprised me. Are you getting my point now? Have you read that word? Blotting out every handwriting. So there are handwritings. Correct? There are ordinances. The Bible says they search out iniquities. Hallelujah. Maybe at another time I will continue this teaching of these angels that I told you. Because when they fell, listen, they wanted to translate themselves back to the angelic state they did not know that god had the power to stop them so in an attempt to translate themselves back they were stopped they are the ones who have become demons today are you getting me so they need material bodies to find expression this is the basis of traditionalists this is the basis of a lot of things that we celebrate in the rampant outbreak of the prophetic that we call word of knowledge you see it they search out i'm not saying everything is corrupt are you getting my point now but i'm telling you that many of these things otherwise how can a herbalist look at you how many of you have seen these guys that scam and swindle people in a car and sometimes they will give you an they will take you to one baba right and give you an accurate word of knowledge how did they know because they don't have the holy spirit so there must be some spiritual system hmm. they search out iniquities it is on the basis of this search that lucifer satan the accuser of the brethren are you getting me now based on these findings this is what he reports and he says god according to your justice this is what has happened that means there is a law that should follow this family are you getting my point and suddenly you find out women are not getting married people are not getting married things are not working nothing is working anybody comes to you for a relationship what will happen to him in two weeks nobody will tell him he will pack his load by himself and go and you are wondering what in the world is going on listen listen it is demonic many of us and our loved ones are victims of these things but they've told you hallelujah just believe it's not there again you say it's not there again you went back it's still there this thing is following you you see pattern
Satan's. I told you this thing. Satan wants transgenerational allegiance. Many students, you are very brilliant, like exam right now. You go to the class and you find out that you black out. In all sincerity, other people think you are lazy. You know you are not lazy. There is a puzzle somewhere you are trying to understand. Now you come to the ministers and they tell you, did you read? Yes, they say, all right, I speak over you. It is well. And demons just mock the men of God and say, look at how shallow. And the student goes back and gets the same kind of tragedy. But when there is light, darkness must bow. This is the reason why you are hearing testimonies of sudden admissions, sudden this and that. See, brothers and sisters, I taught you that every time you speak, the realm of the spirit will check what revelation you are standing on. Are you seeing why some people's words are not powerful? Because when you speak, the devil knows you don't even know what you are saying. You are just carrying the delusion of faith. And you're just saying, I speak. Leave this family now. Based on what? What is the spiritual intelligence that sponsors that statement? When you have it, there is light in your spirit. And it is that light that will force that dimension of darkness. That's why sometimes you can see as we are teaching, the power of God just breaks out and demons are living. Or maybe during the miracle service, these things are not magic. It's a product of light. Are you getting my point as you're sitting under this teaching now a lot of things are suddenly coming in your mind are you getting me now it's now making sense to you why your father was walking although an elder in church he grew to a certain height and he fell and that's exactly what has been happening he went for deliverance and fell down he got up and the same thing has happened with that it has even gotten worse have you seen people who come and receive some miracles and go back and their families become worse it's a spiritual blackmail to discredit the ministry of the men of god so that they will say they got powers from darkness not everybody got power from that are you getting my point now you see how complicated the body of christ is at this point that's why we need accuracy please don't miss the meetings because there is a there is a construction there is a we want to go back to this foundation what is responsible for the darkness in our lives nothing just happens brothers and sisters as you're seated right now you know that this word you are hearing is the deliverance of your family this word you are hearing some of us who are parents here and are seated we know that this is the puzzle behind the things that are happening hallelujah but it will take light brothers and sisters it takes spiritual intelligence during the monday counseling i was ministering to a lady and as soon as she came and i casted out the spirit and at once the lady just lay down and the lord opened my eyes at once and i saw the spirit in the realm of the spirit it was laughing and i said the lord rebuke you the protocol were here and the, the lady jacked back up somebody would have said thank you jesus and he just get up say, ah, that's it and the demons would say kai men of god of these days they are not powerful at all say after me the light of god is upon me taking away every darkness and by the power of the holy spirit I become an agent of healing, prosperity, deliverance, and grace to all around me and my family members. Hallelujah. This is what is responsible for many things in our families. This is why you find out that certain tribes and certain geographical places are prone to certain attitudes. We say these things do not happen, but we are seeing it. There is a spirit upon the continent of Africa that is responsible for what is happening. Hallelujah. 
you see people come from certain places you see people come from plateau state you see people come from kaduna state from kogi state from lagos from the riverine areas you see patterns that are happening yet we say oh it, there's there's nothing wrong i'm okay just declare that i'm okay and you say i'm okay and the demon say i'm fine too i'm fine with you i like this revelation you're having i'm fine with it but when light strikes see there are many of you based on this revelation you will start calling home and your parents will start telling you what is this dream that i'm having what is, you will see that there are shiftings know that is a response to what is happening it's already happening in some families right now you are seeing it you something you just know you can't explain but you know that certain foundations these demon spirits are saying who is this who is this this is le a level of light that is notable and they they begin to walk but you see light does not beg darkness authentic light comes and comes to conquer hallelujah this is the mystery behind this healing of hiv and all of these things you are seeing when you understand them no man of god will boast and brag in himself because in all sincerity when you know this it's just a proper application of spiritual intelligence hallelujah it's like clapping for yourself because you took your bath you say what i'm so impressed that i can bath what is special about that you can clap for a baby because you say this is amazing ha ah, you bath yourself the child will say yes yeah. say clap for yourself and he claps now imagine that Sam comes to see me and I just said I, I finished bathing and Sam will say boy am I impressed a time will come what we celebrate as power will take another dimension what men of God have camped around it will be ordinary people who will be doing it because of the higher dimensions of grace are you getting me time for miracle service we'll just say you go and bring those who you healed, delivered, prayed for, and come. We testify together and receive greater grace. Do you know the training you are receiving now is such that it puts you to work immediately? And your Jerusalem is your family. Anyone who is not concerned about his family is, so, is a sign that something is wrong with you. Bishop, a pretty lady with nobody to marry her get it into the 40s nobody to marry her people say it's just like that the ratio of men to women is so on and so forth what is all that but when you sustain spiritual intelligence you can say light be and it will become hallelujah praise the lord rise up on your feet let's pray i want us to take some time please pray as you pray tonight sudden things will begin to happen in your life please everybody participate in the prayer as you pray tonight something will begin to happen in your families you will begin to feel the spiritual shift the devil must give up on you this year and your family members hold hands together and begin to pray in tongues please instrumentalists help us hold hands together and just begin to pray in tongues. Please pray seriously. Prayer is a spiritual law. It has nothing to do with convenience. You're not filled with the Holy Ghost. As we pray, let the power of God come upon you that you begin to utter those mysteries. Please pray. You will contend until victory comes. You will contend. Outside, make sure you are praying. Outside, make sure you are praying. 
Rekoto prekatele bakapa takata bregele balada bash. Rekoto broska pakata pekata prekatele ka maka brosko prende kosteba. Every second tele boko shobregele balada ba. Mabra tosko pa indekea. Ebresko prekatele kotos maka prakata le kotos regele balada ba. Make broske talia ba. Arise, arise, by light, by revelation, arise, shake of darkness, shake of darkness, reketeko reketeleketeka, pray and say I'm changing, I'm changing, my status is changing, reketekelebaha, there's no more decline, I'm on my way to better days. The life God designed for me. Hallelujah. The answer to the tragedy of my family is already unfolding. This age-long puzzle is opening. Come on, pray in the spirit. Activate breakthroughs in the spirit. You are praying out of the depth of revelation. Rekete kete kete prakata balada balada ba. Mam prakata prakasha kete. Rekata prakata balada bash. Rambo kosopre kete. Rekete kebo shapariya ba. Mam prakete lebo kosopre kete lebo. Please no looking at one another. Pray, pray, pray. Reke bosko prakata balada ba. Your flesh may be weak, but pray is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Prayer is a sacrifice. It's not about convenience. It's about a higher revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. You are going to pray. Hallelujah. And you are going to say, Lord, I dispel darkness out of my life. Are you hearing me? You are going to say, Lord, by the light, whatever represents darkness in my life, it bows tonight. Lift your voice and pray. It could be sickness in your body. It could be a yoke of bondage. Satan is only as powerful as the darkness in us permits him. Pray. Let light shine. God, who had commanded light to shine out of darkness, had shined in our hearts to grant unto us the knowledge of the glory of God as seen on the face of Jesus. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Prophesy. Light. Light to my family. Light. Prophesy. Light to your exams. Light to your academics. The powers that be, they must bow tonight by the force of revelation. Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall live by every revelation. Revelation brings life. It brings light. It brings power. Pray. Babylon is falling. That corrupt system. That secrecy of evil. That genetic code of wickedness. That is responsible for the life that people are living the wickedness the pain cause that system that that one must fall by a road of a higher priesthood this is not the ironic priesthood our confidence is tied to a higher priesthood 
after the order of Melchizedek is a priesthood of glory is a priesthood of power hallelujah hallelujah was he praying you are going to mention every area of your life one by one and you're going to say lord the chains they are broken tonight why we sing play that song break every chain many of you will be surprised at the testimonies you will have these are not testimonies that are happening by mistake you know how they are happening so you can reproduce it in the life of others lift your voice chains i prophesy be broken Chains of delay, chains of delay, chains of barrenness, chains of fear, chains of failure. Let the glory of the Lord arise. Let the glory of the Lord arise. Chains, chains of pornography. Chains of masturbation, chains of wickedness, chains of sickness, chains of joblessness, chains of failure, chains of witchcraft, break every chain by the power of the blood of Jesus, break every chain, we contend by revelation, we storm the gates of hell. We storm the gates of hell by the power of light. We storm Babylon. We prophesy your doom in our lives. Babylon the great, falling. Babylon the great, falling. prayer points hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord please pair yourselves into two the bible says if any two shall agree as touching anything you are going to pray for your families right now this year we must carry our family members along listen listen pharaoh said i will let you go but leave the children and the animals moses said no way we are going together i can't go and allow my sister who will save them you can't go and let your loved ones die like that are you getting my point that prophetic light will shine until every member of your family is part of this you are going to pray confront every darkness in your family you know the darkness lift your voice and pray the darkness of witchcraft and culture i contend come on pray there's no pretense in this place pray our family members have suffered this cycle of failure by the power of the holy ghost we confront you knowing that we have authority of evil we expose the doers of iniquity we expose the spirit of death the spirit of failure that invisible manifestation of darkness that is responsible for death for barrenness for miscarriages for failure pray that limitation of poverty confront poverty that spirit that yoke that devilish device that has been projected to your family that is responsible for your financial tragedy confront it it must bow to the power of light for the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend prophesy a recovery prophesy a recovery i call back a 
opportunities for my family. I call back. I call back their spiritual fervency. I call back their finances. I call back the joy. Hallelujah. One more prayer point and we're done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for Koinonia. We're going to say, Lord, let your light shine. People must be liberated. Are you hearing me? Let me tell you something. Listen. Hear me inside and outside. Every one of you who comes for this meeting, your coming alone is a miracle. Are you hearing me? If you know the powers of darkness, that if they had their way, would stop you from hearing what you are hearing. Ask the people that come for counseling. 90% of them tell you the morning for counseling, something stops them. Or an accident and they almost capsize. The devil hates light. He loves argument. He loves religion. But this year, we are storming the gates of hell. Are you getting my point? A fearless generation. There are things that must be recovered. There is the destiny, the soul of the nation that we must recover. But it must start from us and our families. This is why we invest time to pray. We know the kind of ministry God has given us. That's why we pray. Are you getting my point? That's why we have a strong and healthy prayer department. We are not carried away by success. We are not carried away by crowd. We are not carried away by rema. Listen, when God commits to you, the transformation of the destinies of men, you must take it seriously. We are going to pray for koinonia. We are going to say, light, shine. Shine! Let the works of evil be exposed. Let believers be empowered by the light of God's word. Let this place remain wet hell, the place of bread, the place of light. We will pay the price, whatever it takes to access the depths of the spirit. We will pay the price. We will pay the price for the sake of destinies. Pray. Our heavens remain open in the name of Jesus. This remains a place of breakthrough, a place of signs, wonders, deep mysteries of the kingdom. Our messages go far. They cause revivals in campuses, in families, in cities. Let the angel of the Lord that goes with our messages, we command that the angels of God arise for our sake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call you, you will answer. This is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call you. This is my confidence, Lord. This is my confidence that I have in you. Whenever I go, you will answer me. This is the confidence. minute 
I like you to pray for your loved ones. Say, Lord, from here, let this unction lead to their homes. Make sure you are praying. Call them by name. Call them by name. They are not as anointed as you are. Standing for them. Call them by name. Call them by name. Say, Lord, for my sister. Call them by name. Your name must answer to them. Kata balata, rata parikata, leke borosotaya. Call them by name. Say, I release an unction to my home. I release angels. Lord, as you are doing it here, do it there. As for me and my house, and my house. Pray for them. Lagos, Abuja, Maiduguri, Bauchi State, Yobe, Zamfara, Bogi, wherever. Do a miracle, oh God. Do a miracle, oh God. I know you will do it. I know you will do it. Raise the dead. Change their status. Hallelujah. Now, hallelujah. There's someone that has been on my mind. Even while I was traveling back today, I was thinking about the person. He came all the way from, I think, Yobe, Sale. Where is he? Please come. The Lord will begin with you tonight. ushers position yourself inside and outside because there will be a rain in this place hallelujah listen you will be set free where did you come from from Bauchi. Yes. I want you to know that God will do a miracle in your life. Amen. You believe that? Yes, I believe. You came full of faith. Yes. The Lord will set you free right now Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that devil, come out of him right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, just breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. I set you free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Listen. Please. I want to see those who have heart conditions. You came here. Hear me outside, please. We don't have time to waste. We are not going to have to mention cases individually. But when, when we call your case, please run out. We are going to pray and see as far as God wants to finish fast so that we will end quickly. Heart conditions. Leave your seat and come out here quickly. Either a hole in the heart or an abnormal heart formation. Quickly, quickly. Appreciate them as they line up here. Ushers coordinate them. Heart conditions. Please come and line up here quickly. That devil is a liar. Heart condition. Growing up, they told you you have a heart condition. Come out and line up here. 
Come out and line up here. No matter how old you are or how young you are. Please line up. Line up. Straight line. Line up, usher, direct them, help them. Hallelujah. As you're standing here, I'd like you to wait by by to it. Because I know the unction of the spirit is here. God will set you free. Baba, God will set you free, sir. And everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, Sirs, we'll minister quickly. We'll just minister to them. Hallelujah. Praise God. I tell you, there is an unusual unction in this place. As hands are laid on you. Hallelujah. Return back thanking the Lord and check if you are still seated in the crowd and you know you have a heart condition. Don't sit back there. God wants to change your story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's someone who has an unusual palpitation. I don't know what it is. You, the way you, the way you breathe, sometimes is literally holding you and choking you. You are the one. Look at me, because it's a devil of darkness. Your own is not just sickness. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil of darkness. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let her go. 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 You are a devil of darkness. Come out. Come out. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Come. My sister, you too. Come. Some of you that are standing, as hands are laid, you will find out that it wasn't sickness. My dear, God will set you free right now because your own is an oppression. Look at me. Are you, are you listening to me? There is a devil that has oppressed this girl. You will go, 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 go in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus, greater than any other name. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing a dark object coming out of you. Come out of her now. Sister, look at me. I'll pray for you. God will set you free. You believe that? Now, thou foul devil, let this girl go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! 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 Let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say, you won't hide. Come on, I see you in the spirit. Go out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. John please. Minister Jakes, Bishop, let's begin to, as they lay hands, they will speak to your life. Don't just think they are laying hands. Hallelujah. Please stand. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. As hands are laid, begin to pray while you're standing. Out of him now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed now. I curse that devil of darkness. Go. 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 Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. You are a devil of darkness. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Let him go. Let him go now. Let him go. Let him go. Go. Be healed. Sister, I curse that devil. Because I also see oppression in your sleep. That demon of darkness. Go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus made whole right now be made whole oh God is not done with you God is not done with you be healed in the name of Jesus as you go back to your seat check yourself be healed right now be healed right now 
be healed right now be healed right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus come out of her now come out of her come out of her by the fire of the Holy Ghost out of her right now in the name of Jesus what's wrong Be made free right now. In the name of Jesus. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Set free right now from every oppression. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, only outside, not inside. All of you outside, lift your hands. Not those inside, please, those inside. Lift your hands, those outside. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. The fire of God will terminate the works of darkness. So many of you are under influences of the devil. Hallelujah. Only those outside. At the count of three, as you shout, the power of God comes upon you. One, two, three. Let the fire fall. I curse devils. I curse demons. Go, go, go. Bring them in, ushers. Go, go. Let the fire fall. Bring them in. Bring them in. The fire fall all across the building. Outside. All across. Fire is falling. Those outside. One more time. Those outside shout Jesus. In power, move in power at the back, outside at the back, move in power, move in power. The fire of the Holy Ghost outside, the fire of the Holy Ghost outside, the fire of the Holy Ghost outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The Outside. God is not gone. Lift your hands. I release fire. 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 Take it. Take it outside. Take it outside. For this purpose, was the Son of God, I see two ladies sitting in the same row outside. The fire of God comes upon you now. Right now. That oppression over your life.
two ladies sitting in the same row. Look at me. We've not finished, so we've not finished. If it's possible, if it's possible, the ministers are going to separate themselves into three and walk across the crowd outside. No devil will survive today. Brother, I see a serpent, not a man. Come out of him now. Out of him now. A devil of darkness. Come out of him. Come out of him. I see a snake, not a man. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire fire I'm seeing a snake, not a human being. You see the way he's behaving? Look at what he's doing. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Come out of him. In the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Leave him, leave him, go. Go, go, go. As you touch me, you touch fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out of him. He must be free. Come out of him. Come out of him Come out of him now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon him. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Hold on. I set you free. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave him. Look at. He's free. Look up. Look at this gentleman. Someone who came oppressed of the devil. Brother, you are free in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pick him up. Stand up, my brother. Look at, see, he's even surprised. Look at. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at me. Look at me. Do you know when you came out here? Where were you? You came outside. Help me with the mic. What's your name? Samuel. Eh? Samuel. Where are you coming from? Danaka. Look at this guy. Outside. He doesn't even know that he's here. Look at him surprised looking at everybody. The Lord perfect you and set you free. Where was the lady you were praying for? Pray, this lady. See, I see an old woman. That's what I'm seeing. Turn this lady. I see a very old woman. Come on now. Come out of her. Come out of her. You're not done. Come out of her. Come out now. She laid down as though it's done. You are not done. You are spiritual people here. Out of her now. Out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her right now. That foul devil. In Jesus' name. Leave her alone. She's free. Look at you. What's wrong with this woman? Who brought her? Please, if you brought someone, make sure you stand close to the person. Who brought mama? Who are you? Come. 
Well done. What's her name? Lydia. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past three years now. For and the she, past three years. Look at. She had dislocation. She had what? Dislocation on her shoulder. She could Since not when? Carry Mama, she can she talk? Yes, I can. Mama, talk. how are you? I'm well. Well done, eh? What's the issue? Oh, this hand now is dislocated. Yes, it was since December last year. December? Uh, that I went to the toilet on my way coming back. You see, my you, face always, like you always know the signature of Satan when you see it. I'm not so, teaching you to be demon conscious. I'm back, just I telling just you that. Myself sitting on the ground. You did what? I said on my way coming back. I found my on the way from the toilet. Yes. How old are you, mama? I'm 51. 51. I found myself sitting on the ground. You not found that, yourself sitting on the ground. I, that, I don't know it, uh, it happened. Not that I fell down flat. So, and, okay, come. You are her daughter. Let, let her talk. I was taken to a students that is not stroke because immediately it happened. My left hand and left leg seized. Your left I, leg right now is not moving. No, it's moving. What of your right hand? The what right, is wrong with that, it? No, nothing happened. It's only the left leg and the left hand that seized immediately. Then I was rushed to the hospital. So the bleeding it, will stop. No, and, no. The case of the bleeding is different from. I was taken to the hospital. That uh, it was cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Yes. You still have it. Yes. It's going to go. This is what I'm so, saying. That it was not stroke. That it was partial stroke. It was what? Partial stroke. Partial stroke. Then, the following, I was in the hospital for two weeks. I, I, I told them, the doctor, that I want him to discharge me. I want to go for prayer. So I went to, for prayer in Nosarawa State. So, the, the following day, in, in the prayer house. It's I time for you I'm, to go. I'm, go, 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 go. Out of her now. Out of her now. Now, in the name of Jesus. That devil. Out of her now. Fire on you. Fire on you. In the name of Jesus. Fire upon you. Go, go, go. Go. Sorry, mama. So, I moved my leg. So, I went. From okay, what what is what okay, so what is wrong with you right now? What what did no, you come with right the now? Cancer of the womb. Cancer it's of the womb. Bleeding. Then your hand. The hand. These are the two conditions. Now that I fell down flat. So I discovered that I have dislocation on my shoulder. So Okay, it's all right. The hand has been fixed locally. But up to now I couldn't move the hand. But I will pray for you. I'll pray for you. Yes. All right. Can you feel my hands? Can you feel my hands? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My God, do wonders in this hand right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Perfect this hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That devil of darkness, your hold is taken from my hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. fingers yes. every pain go i command you to go you are of the spirit of darkness um, i challenge you try lifting it up lift both of your hands up try it just try lifting your hands up can you try lifting it up in the name of jesus you feel pains you feel pains where yeah. your shoulder By the power of the Holy Spirit, begin to move it more. In the name of Jesus, begin to move it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil. I curse that devil. Can you wind your hand? Try and wind this hand. Just look at me.
Messiah. I post perfection in the name of Jesus. Come and be massaging your mom's hand. Come and be massaging her. I'm seeing someone that coughs out blood. I'm seeing someone that coughs out blood. You cough all the time. You cough out blood. Please hurry up. You cough out blood. Literally. Who is the person? Inside. Are they hearing me outside? Quickly. If you identify that person, let the person come. You cough out blood. Literally. Come out. Please clear the way for them. Ah, look at oppression. This is what I'm seeing. Come on now, get out of her. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her, thou devil of darkness. I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Not only this lady, but the members of her family have been oppressed. Lay your hands on her chest. In the name of Jesus, I curse that power of darkness. Be free. Totally. Now. In the name of Jesus. Since when? For the past two weeks. For the past two weeks. Have you gone to the hospital? Can I pray for you? You believe Jesus will lay your hands on your chest. You will feel a fiery sensation upon your chest right now. Now you hear my voice. Let her go. Go! Go! Hallelujah. Those of you inside, lift your hands. I'm going to ask the cymbal to clash and the string play. Listen, when that happens, the fire of the spirit will move across anyone here under any oppression of darkness. You must go. This is not a negotiation. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. At the count of three, begin to clash the cymbal. One, two, three. Hashatabata. Go, 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 Satan be exposed. Satan be exposed. For this purpose was the Son of God. Satan be exposed. Light shine. I release fire. 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 Upon this congregation. Fire. 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 Fire upon you. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. Fire. 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 You can't stand it. No devil can stand it. Fire. Bring them out. 
the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. You can't stand it. Satan, go. It's time for God's people to go. It's time for destinies to be opened. It's time for what has made you to cry to end. Bring them out. Hey, I see you in the spirit. Leave her. Leave her. Go. 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 I see you in the spirit. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are free in Jesus' name. Bring me a mic. I do these things to teach you a lesson. Madam, stand up. No, 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 not her. Not her. You are a devil of darkness. For how do you think you can hide in the presence of God's light? Look at me. Bring the mic for me. You are not gone completely, oh. You are a devil of darkness. Out of her now. On your mark, get set, go. Go, 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 go. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. As you touch me, you touch fire. As you touch me, you touch the fire of the spirit. He make it this out of her now. Out, 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 out. Come out of her now. She's free. In the name of Jesus. It will not stand fire from my hands to your head. If I be a servant of God, you stand around fire in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. This woman's destiny has been tied down. Lord, who is the person? Let the fire of God catch up with the person right now. God shows me this room. There's one person. My hands. Let the fire of the spirit separate that person. Now. 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 
Stand up, madam. <laughs> Don't feel embarrassed. Calm down. Hallelujah. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. See, this woman has suffered. You just see someone walking. Things are not going right. People speak all kinds of grammar. And Satan is advancing. Mama, please come. Jangfa is going to speak to you. I sense, please, Mama. You're free. Take her outside. I see her coughing, whatever. Please take her outside for God's sake so we don't litter this place. Take her outside. I don't know if it's poison or whatever it is that she took. Take her outside. You're still not out. Go out, go out, go out now. Out, go out. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out of her. Go out of her. Come, place your hand on this lady's chest. Out of her. Come out of her now. I release fire upon you. Foul devil. Out of her. Patata tata ta kapa. Rakata posa tali. Rekete kete kete. Le gronto zopo rotata. Riata la kosiaba. All right, your reign in this life is over. On your mark, set, go, 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 you can't stand it, go, go, go. I prophesy to you today. After today, your life will begin to move as if Satan does not exist. Amen. Are you listening to me? Every oppression, those outside hear me. Every oppression challenging your family through the greatness of the power that is in the name of Jesus, that challenge will bow. Don't let her go. Bring her back. Come, sweetheart. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just keep looking. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm seeing your father's face on your face. Look at my eyes. Just look. For she will go free. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. Right now, you and the spirit of death upon her get lost get lost get lost get lost Up your heads, O oh ye gates. Be ye lifted, O oh ye ancient doors. And the King of Glory will come in. In Jesus' name. 
You're free. Come, mama. Bring that lady who is falling. See, tonight, many of you, you will go back rejoicing. He who has the son We have the sun, so we have the Lay your hands on our stomach. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Who said so? The doctors. Lay your hands there. Lay. Kisa, interpreter. Selina. Where is she? She's walking. Tell her Jesus. Okay. Okay. Tell her Jesus Christ is going to heal her right now. See, she's crying. See. Tell her Jesus will heal her now. Is she looking at you? Look at her. Tell her, Mama, Jesus will heal you. Look at, look at, look at this. 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 This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's mother. of you outside, I want you to know that Jesus is in this place. There is someone I need in this room. The devil has oppressed you. Then, and the Holy Ghost spoke to me. He said, come out. Two of you, all of you in this room, lift your hands. That devil is a liar. As I, I shout the name of Jesus, the fire of God will come. People, please let me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release fire right now my father locate those two people right now in the name of Jesus let the fire of God fall 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 two of them two of them there's one already two of them fall Shatatatatatatata. Fall, fall, fall. Sister, tonight is your night of salvation. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come up. Come out of her. Shut up. Out of them. 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 Bring them in. He who has the son. See, none of you will go back the same. Are you hearing me? None of you will go back. Who is Grace here? Who is by the name Grace? You are standing here. Your name is Grace. Who is Grace? Come in, sir. He who has the son. Has eternal life. We have the son. So we have eternal life. Time is up. Thou foul devil. Let this guy go. Go. Fire on you. Fire upon you. That devil of oppression. That devil. Leave him now. 
Come out of him. 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 Now fire upon you. Fire. Let him go. Let him go. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of you are not done. Out, out, out. Until he's completely free. Out. Little girl, be free. I separate you with this spirit. Go. 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 Time up. Time up. This lady is heavily oppressed. Out of her. Out devil of darkness. You came for koinonia. You're welcome. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Stand up, pick him up. Fire on you right now. It's time. It's time. It's time. You must go. Go. Bring him. You must go. This lady has been so tight. Now, listen. I need to explain something to you. Please follow me. It's not the people. Listen. It doesn't mean they are possessed with demons. Are you listening to me? So get that clear so that you don't carry your big mouth and start talking stories around. There are three levels of manifestation of Satan. Some of them are acutely possessed with demons. Some of them, devils influence their lives and destinies. So the fact that they are manifesting like they are possessed does not mean they are possessed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why they don't even know. Pick him up. Kai, this guy has been so oppressed of the devil this lady has dreams and she meets with people go out of her go out of her just let him let him lie down when he's ready to stand up this guy is so weak he doesn't even know that he has been under all kinds of bondages of Satan. Who prayed? Let me pray for you. Mama, you believe Jesus has authority over cancer? You do? Because he's going to go. Oh yes, it will go. Hmm? Lay your hands there. See, I, I'm touching it. It's looking like a stone. Out of her! Out of her! Out of her! Devil of darkness! It's not cancer, it's a spirit! Go out of her now! Go out of her now! Go out of her now! He was the son. Hallelujah. Mama, who brought Mama out? Eh? I said, who is Grace? Oh, I was actually talking about some. Bring the man on the wheelchair and on crutches. Let him come and stand here. Please, if we have not called your case, don't just come out. We'll give room for that. But let him stand. Sir, please, can you come and minister to this woman for time's sake? Bring him here. Sir, you're welcome. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Accident. On which leg? This leg. What's wrong with the leg? Operation. Operation. They did surgery. And it's not working. You want to walk? Yes. You believe Jesus will set you free? Clear the way for him. He was the son 
the name of the Lord Jesus look at me you believe in Jesus Christ can you walk without with it are you feeling pains yes. where what of this leg look at me in the name of the Lord Jesus I set you free I command your leg to straighten out in the name of Jesus Christ look at me walk. come follow me Follow me. Can you walk? Try it. Just take a step and see. What's wrong with the legs? It's heavy. Ah, where? But can you bend it like this? Try and bend it. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? God is healing you. Keep moving it. Move it. Move it. You just do what I'm telling you to do. Move it. Move it. Now move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Can we try and walk now? Hold this one. Hold my hands. Walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Try and match it down. Is it because of the metal? There's a metal inside his leg. So it's limiting him from walking. Hallelujah. So they must remove the metal. They can't, oh, they put it here permanently. Lord, let this metal become his bones. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. This metal. Amen. Melt away. Ministers move across the crowd. We don't have time. Go ahead. Okay, Jamfa is already ministering. Some people outside just move and minister to people. Join them, Kenny. Someone should take on this role. Vivian. I'm hearing the name Vivian. Pastor, sir. Yes. Vivian. Who is Vivian? A fair lady called Vivian. No, no, a fair lady called Vivian. The Lord is showing me a fair lady called Vivian. Vivian. Sister, stand up. Look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Thou foul devil. Go! 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 In Jesus' name, be set free. Leave her alone. Vivian, what's wrong with you? Eh? People come to you and oppress you in a dream. Is that correct? Do you know me? Have, you, have I talked with you before? You want to be free? You'll be free right now. John, it's time for you to enter God's plan and purpose for your life. Are you listening to me? Because you are not supposed to be a photographer. Are you listening to me? You are supposed to have gone far beyond this level. God didn't just bring you to Koinonia to snap. Please take the, photo, the camera. Victor can snap, so be doing it in the interim. You believe what I'm telling you? Uh -huh, because I see that how many people drink in your family? Tell the truth and shame the devil. How many? Two people, sir. You and who? I don't drink, sir. 
again. Yes, sir. You used to drink. Yes, Have you stopped? Yes, Completely. Yes, Praise God. But the Lord will set you free. Mm. Because in your family, women. Uh -uh. You believe that? Yes, eh? See, let me tell you the truth. This is not your destiny in Christ. This happened as a result of frustration. Is that correct? Many things. School didn't work. Many things happened. Even YEQ, you don't even have your complete result. Is that true? Help me. Is that true? That's true? God will set you free. Hallelujah. You believe that? I want to speak into your destiny and call it forth into where God wants you to be. That devil is a liar. Come out of him now. Come out of him. I release your glorious destiny. The days of oppression are over. Rise up beyond the photographer. Become the leader and the entrepreneur that God has destined for you to be. See, listen. It's not that this guy is lazy. I hope you know that. It's not that he's lazy. Ella, come. Abigail, come. Wumi, come. Three of you, come and stand here. For the sake of your families, the time has come. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. A devil of darkness. Out. Now. Now. Shatata rata. Reketele mo subariata. Brento capriata laka. Rakata baba baba baba. Out. Out. Fire upon you. Setele ke pariata. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Fire. 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 Be set free. Right now in the name of Jesus. You have a glorious destiny. No devil will hold you down. In the name of Jesus. Lawful captives be free. I release you. That devil of temper and anger. Go. Go. I command you be free. The plague of death over your family. Go. 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 I, come in, I command that terminal disease. Now it's time. Time up. Time up. You are a devil. Go in the name of Jesus. Be free. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That devil cannot stand. Fire upon you. It's time to be free. Time to be free. Time to be free. Leave her. Let her go. This lady has suffered too long. You've held her destiny down. Go in the name of Jesus. Once again, come. I stopped praying for you for a reason. Please take this guy up, this gentleman. Look at me. See, Cummings, do you know that your life, listen, listen. I saw upon this guy the spirit of Cain, and I didn't know what it was. He was lying down there. That was why I walked there and laid my hands upon him. You know the curse that was upon Cain? Bring them out. God is not done with them yet. You know the curse that was upon Cain? He said he won't die, but he will be a wanderer. This is how this guy's life has been. Today you are in Lagos. Tomorrow you are here. Next tomorrow you are this. It's time for your freedom. Free you. He was the son, has the time. My dear, come and stand here. Yes. Come and stand here. Birthday girl, you are the one who celebrated your birthday yesterday. We are going to pray and minister to people. The ministers are, sir, you, you are done? Ah, please pray, oh. Please, take time and speak into their lives. I beg you. These people came to receive. 
ministers go around please prophesy to them where's John for Jakes please please move around where are the people I called out now my dear you know the devil wants to make your life a waste so you are moving but you are not accomplishing anything but the Lord loves you and tonight the eye of the Lord is upon you hallelujah you believe that hold my hands both of your hands look at me just look at me Lord let this lady be free from every oppression of darkness in the name of Jesus be free I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost look at me I'm seeing you pregnant drive every useless man out of your life are you listening to me I'm not saying you are pregnant now I'm saying I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit not physically hallelujah praise God so don't please kick any man who wants to come and talk grammar around you because I'm seeing that you are going to three countries. Number one, South Africa. Huh? Number two, UK. Number three, Canada. These three countries. The Lord is taking you there. Hold on. But then I see a lot of resistance rising up from wherever. I may not be able to talk all this with you because we're in the presence of people. But I want to pray for you. It's time. See, three things will happen. One, a passion for God you cannot recover from. The ministers are ministering to people around. While they are that devil, let me tell you, cast out every devil, prophesy, release people to their prophetic destinies. Let her go. Go! Go! Time up, thou devil of darkness. Be free now. Be free now. I command that wicked spirit. Depart from your life. Fire right now all over your body. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. All over you. Right now. Leave her, let her go. For she shall not be called Jabez. That's what the Lord says I should say. Because you were born in sorrow, you will not be called Jabez. Tonight, I enlarge your coast in the spirit. My dear, look at me. From today, you will walk into your prophetic destiny. See, you don't know what it is that has happened to you now. Even you, you cannot answer. But look at me. You are a very good girl. Are you listening to me? But you are assuming the character of another person. Tonight the Lord sets you free. This lady is a wonderful lady beyond your imagination. But sometimes you see her doing things that even her does not know. Because I see the spirit of anger and rage. I mean rage almost to kill somebody. But the Lord sets you free. And this is what I'm seeing in the spirit. I'm seeing you move from the side and you are climbing a ladder and the Lord says restore. This is what I prophesy. Restore. This is what will begin to happen to you. Restore. Hallelujah. If I if I hearing the name if I if I who is if I If I now, if you brought someone for healing from outside Zaria, quickly bring them from quickly. We have to round up quickly. Please bring them. If you invited someone, no matter how far you are outside, bring the person, sir. Come, it's time for the Lord to set you free, not only in your health. 
but on every area of your life. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. All right now, I speak to you. I open up that door. I challenge the works of darkness. Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three. The Lord perfects you. Who brought this man? What's wrong with him? Bring them forward. He has what? His sight. He used to be bigger than this. But what happened? Because I'm seeing something like a rock upon his head. Who is Silvanus? Sir, does he drink? Who is your friend that drinks? He's drinking. You need to get him born again and serious with God. Right? I want to pray for you right now. Your weight will come back. Your life will be restored. And your eyes, you will begin to see clearly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stephanus. Silvanus. From where? From Haido. From where? Haido. Eh? I A U. Hein Dogo. Ah, okay. You are born again. You love Jesus Christ. But you won't do ministry the way you are planning. You will start afresh with God. Alright? So disable all those man of God things. You will start afresh. Primary one, two, three, four, five. God will anoint you. Right? I'm going to pray for you. You believe what I'm saying. And leave all your friends who are deceiving you. Huh? You are going to be a great man, but you are not yet that man, so you will stay in the school of the spirit. Hmm? These teachings that you people jump and pride over, they are basic things in the spirit. Let God work with you. From today, you begin a new journey. Hold my hands. Lord, put a fire upon him right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A new beginning, fresh start. Just breathe in and out as deep as you can. In and out. Baba, be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Who brought him? He came on his own. What's wrong with you? Migraine. Put your hands on your head. Lay it. But he will first set you free. Then you will begin a walk with him. Any appetite and anything that does not belong to him will give way. You will be surprised what you will begin to do in your life. Okay? Look at me. What am I doing? One leg in. Where is the other leg? Why? Because this is how your life is. It's time for you to love him with every passion. Hmm? So I break everything that is not of God in the realm of the spirit. Let the fire of God take over. Take over your life. Take over her life. Foul spirit, let her go. Lord, anoint her and use her. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. 
Please do it quickly. Someone help her. Lift up your hands. I look to you. saw the sun rising over your family and then I heard this song I will wait for you Jesus you're the sun in my the days of oppression are over you are standing on behalf of your family Something is happening to your father right where I'm holding. The Lord is setting him free. Today the Lord is giving you the mantle that was upon your mother. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because as I look at you I see her face. And the Lord says I should tell you to run with the spirit of power. Whatever you decree will happen. The Lord will establish you and you will be a mother indeed. That all your times of tears will be taken away by a new joy. Take this message to your father for the Lord visits your family tonight. What was I doing? Okay, the ministers are still... Okay, those that are around, Pastor Williams is here. Just, if the ministers are ministering, let them continue, but... Those that are around, even if it's just me and Pastor Williams, please, let's pray on the request. After we pray on the request, I'm going to begin to move prophetically and speak. This is the time you will receive. Are you listening to me? Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray in tongues. Bishop. Stretch your hands. Shaba la bara do krasta bara bara. Rata kata prata kere bara de bash. Paro kaprande pradeshida. Do miracles, oh God. Mare kata bara da 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 bash. Solve every problem here, oh God. And for all our Facebook, Twitter. Egyptians, you see them no more. These 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 Egyptians. You are conquered. Whatever is conquered here is conquered. All over this country and around the world, we release testimonies, miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your hand, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your great power, let there be miracles on this request. Miracles, supernatural miracles, terminate sicknesses, terminate diseases, never to return. Creative miracles in the name of Jesus. All oh, supernatural jobs, supernatural wisdom, let it be done by your spirit. Miracles by your spirit. Supernatural miracles by your spirit. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. I found a reason why I sing. 
of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold. Seven-fold. Not one-fold. Not two-fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service year or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job between today and the middle of April, I command fearful supernatural jobs in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every womb called Barry, I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not right now in nine months time you will celebrate miracle children be open every barren womb be open hallelujah every plague of death over your life or your family members make sure you are lifting your hands on every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because i see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families i see miscarriage of children every plague of death i command it to pass over you forever
In the name of Jesus. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above, I call you in the realm of the spirit. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up a new level of prosperity. A new level of lifting. A new level of wisdom. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, let a cloak of favor hit you where you are. Favor! 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 Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. SS. AS. We change your genotype. In the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight. It is time for the new anointing. Guard up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken. I command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of Jesus Christ captivity ends in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life I command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the Egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an Egyptian as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever Bye bye to them forever. In your family, bye bye to them. Bye bye to them. I release signs, wonders. I release miracles. Take it, take it, take it, take it from the depth of my heart, according to the order of grace. Take your miracle. Take your miracle. Take your miracle. your hand touches from today in the name 
that is above all names. I command it to multiply. My brother, stand here. Bring this lady, come. This is what I'm demonstrating to you, what I saw in the spirit. That God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life. May the Lord take you where your gift will be needed. May the Lord take you where your gift, I command demand upon your oil. Demand, prophetic demand. I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families receive it receive it help help is coming Zion's help the helper of Zion move across families move across families I tell you as surely as the Lord lives between today and the next 21 days you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God hallelujah lift your hands I impart spiritual gift upon you at the count of seven let fresh fire fall upon everybody Every one, two, three, my God, do it. I see angels. Four, five, six. There it is. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it outside. Take it, take it, take it in the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Fire. The prophetic. The apostolic. The evangelistic. Teaching mantles. Pastoral graces. Leadership. Entrepreneurship. I fire it into your spirit everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations in the name of the Lord Jesus doors be open breakthrough breakthrough many of you don't know what breakthrough is you just receive it breakthrough I release it breakthrough I release it breakthrough I release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough Take it, take it, take it, take it, right to the back, take it, take it. Tonight the Lord gives you a new name. Whatever you came here for, whatever request you brought, 
I command, go back with a testimony. Go back with a complete testimony. Whatever you came here with, go back with a testimony. In the name of Jesus. And every one of you who came from far and near to catch a fire and catch an anointing, go back with that fire. Go back and reproduce these things. And even greater. Receive it. Receive it. Jesus now listen the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish listen to me everybody inside and outside you're here and you've been struggling with your life the Lord has been speaking to you you know that now is the time to make it right with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Whosoever will come to me, I will in no wise cast away. He said, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. You've never made this decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Especially many of you outside. Tonight is your night. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is saying, How long? Will you run away when I have a better life for you? When I can save you from eternal condemnation and lead you to the path of grace? Or you've given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. Please, as you hear my voice, do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. At the count of three, inside and outside, I want you to leave your seat and rush out here. The Lord is calling you. You've not given your heart to the Lord. Leave your seat. They are coming. Appreciate them. Right now, leave your seat. Come right to the front. Clap for them. They are coming. Thank you, Jesus. You need to make it right with the Lord. Come out. Or you've been born again once, but you've derailed. Don't stay outside. No matter how far you are, find your way to the front. Forget about your friend. Please run quick. Quick, quick, do it fast. Keep clapping, Koinonia. Thank you, Lord, for a harvest. Don't sit back. There are still more people outside. The Holy Ghost is speaking to you. Don't wrestle with him. Sister, brother, the time has come. There are still more people I see outside. Keep coming. We'll wait for you for one minute. Keep coming. No matter what you've done, there is a fresh start. Celebrate them. The devil is a liar. He will not hold you back. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Keep coming. You are welcome. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for making this decision. Hallelujah. I like to pray for you. I like to lead you to Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how far and how long you have gone. The Lord can give you a new start tonight. Are you listening to me? The Lord can give you a new start tonight. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. Lift your right hand to heaven and say after me, Lord Jesus, mean it from your heart. This is not a Bible recitation. Lord Jesus, I come before you acknowledging you as my Savior. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. Today, I receive the gift of salvation. Come into my heart. Give me a new start. In the name of Jesus. 
I denounce sin. I denounce Satan. Make me a new person. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. From today, forward ever, backward never. The things I used to do, I'll do them no more. Because Jesus is Lord of my life. Father, I commend these ones to you. They have come out to make a genuine decision. Because they love you and they acknowledge you. My God, I pray that their salvation be genuine. And I pray that from today, you begin a walk in their lives. I command that you are free from every challenge you used to go through. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let peace return to your heart. Holy Spirit, I commend you to these ones. This is the assignment you have given on earth. I pray that you do great things in their life. In the name of Jesus, my brother, you are the one who drove me one time. The Lord will begin to do great things in your life and even in your family for this great decision you have made in the name of Jesus. Appreciate them in Jesus' name. Now, in one minute, I'd like you to follow the elder. I said the elders. Follow the ushers. Hallelujah. And they'll be able to have your details and will follow you up. When, sir? Jakes. Monday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, what time? Tomorrow, 7 p.m. on the dot. Please be at chapel. Pastor Jakes will be following you up. We'll have foundational teachings that will bring to guide you and you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ah, okay. The small ones, please. The very young ones, you're welcome. You can come by 4 p.m., all right? So that you're not roaming around 4 p.m. If you have to explain to your parents, please tell them you got born again. And if you need, if your parents want to talk to any of the ministers to confirm, no problem. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, follow the ushers. God bless you. Appreciate them. You're worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time of attending this glorious meeting called Koinonia. I'd like you to leave your seat and jump out quickly. Quickly. Appreciate them. Come on, Koinonia. There are many people outside. We celebrate you. Come on. Koinonia celebrates you. Give them a big welcome. If there's anybody sitting close to you who is coming for the first time, ask the person to come out. We have a blessing for you. Keep clapping. Wow. Keep clapping. They are coming. Please hurry up. Hurry up. Make way for them. Ushers, direct them. Thank you. Keep coming. Thank you, mommy. Keep coming. Keep coming. There's still space for you. There's still space. We acknowledge you and we want to tell you thank you for coming. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia. Put together by Eternity Network International. We thank God for what he's doing in our midst. How many of you were blessed tonight? I assure you, you will never be the same. You will go back and meet fearful testimonies. I assure you, you will know you met God tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you. We truly celebrate you for making our time and the sacrifice to come here. Hallelujah. We're here every Friday building the word and helping us to understand the Holy Spirit and walk in partnership with him. We want to pray for you and prophesy upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands upon them. Listen, we are anointed. So if we pray for you, believe it, it will happen in your life. Father, we pray that you bless them. Anoint everyone. May the Lord give you a testimony that will confirm that you met God tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you a testimony. Come out of her now. Out now. Out of her. Come out of her. Your testimony starts. Come out. Out of her now. now. Devil, come on. Out. Out of her. Come out of her. Out. 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 
out. Shataba kata kata balana kata. Grande ke presta kata la kada mana. You have oppressed her for too long. She came for koinonia. Thou devil of darkness. All right, your time is up. Go. Now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That demon of lust, leave her. Now. Now. In Jesus' name. Balatosa Pratanama. You're free. In Jesus' name. Pick her up. Sister, you have received a visitation from the Lord. For you would have gone back with the same problems you carried and brought here. But the Lord has visited you tonight. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And for every one of you, don't you think we are playing when we are praying for you? We truly pray that you will go back with a testimony and an experience. That the things you used to do that are not consistent with the Lord, you will do them no more. Every bad relationship you came here with, we break it. You will go back, you won't find the other people again. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord connect you to destiny help us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And every bondage of Satan. We set you free from it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. I'd like you to quickly follow the ushers. They will have your details. And we will pray for you. And follow you up. We are here every Friday. The Lord bless you. Keep coming and invite others in Jesus name. Celebrate them and appreciate them as they go back. Let's take the following announcements very quickly and we're out of here. Presbio Consults Nigeria presents the Real Entrepreneurs Forum. Hallelujah. How to start and grow your business, how to raise capital, why most entrepreneurs fail, and so on and so forth. This is a business meeting. The facilitators are Mr. Femi Bolaji, the CEO of Intac Pharmaceuticals, Mr. Francis Yusuf, CEO Real Eagle Springs, and Mr. Victor Mataya, CEO, Aspire Network. The date is tomorrow, 23rd of February. Saturday time is 9 p.m. The venue is VET Multipurpose Hall. Watch out for the posters, and please be there tomorrow, 9 a.m. in the morning. Hallelujah. This was put together by one of us. Please honor him and get blessed. Hallelujah. We are proud of this. Hallelujah. I think this is Isaac, right? That's Isaac. Hallelujah. We are proud to dedicate our new envelopes for mission and our school of ministry. Are you happy about that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We've made envelopes for our school of ministry. And we've made envelopes for missions. So from today, anytime you are coming for Koinonia, Hallelujah. As the Lord blesses you and as the Lord grants you grace, Come prepared not only to give your offering, but we'll drop the envelopes. You may not need to make any special call. You have your seed, whatever, from this night to sow into the school of ministry. These are arms of ENI. Hallelujah. The school of ministry is directed by Bishop Stan, and the missions is directed by Jakes. Hallelujah, Pastor Jakes. So I'd like you to be part of what God is doing. Hallelujah. So every time you come from next week, inside and outside, we'll just drop the envelopes. You have your tithe, offering, and then appropriately just put in your seeds there and we'll pray on it and speak into your life. I want to assure you that this house is fruitful ground. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we are faithful with every money that comes and we use it for the reason why it was given. We dedicate this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for what you are doing in this house. We pray that everyone who will give for our school of ministry to raise and to train our students and to train generals in the spirit, my God, I pray that you will cause them to flourish and enjoy your blessings in the name of Jesus. And we pray for our mission, oh God, as we visit hospitals, prisons, police centers, 
mission fields and we supply welfare to many people my god i pray that whoever partners with this project will experience an open heavens we dedicate this it will only be used for the glory of the king no man will be glorified but jesus alone we dedicate it in jesus name god bless you hallelujah from after the service if you feel god is leading you the the envelopes don't go with them please you just come and we'll place them there and then you just drop your seed house on the rock foundation zaria presents tehila africa a crazy african praise the date is 28 february time is 10 30 pm venue is charity and faith missions ministering will be steve strings and many more dress code strictly traditional hallelujah this is announcement from our school of ministry the closing date for the submission of the forms for eni school of ministry is next week friday please listen carefully next week friday will be closing for all the prospective students and now the director has instructed that um the fact that you have the form does not mean you, you are automatically a student. Hallelujah. And he said, you hold on with the school fees. We are going to go through um, a screening process and then we'll place the list. Am I right, sir? Bishop? Am I correct? Okay. Um, by the grace of God, the Lord has granted us grace to secure a venue. We'll be using God's time for our school of ministry. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He granted it unto us free of charge. Absolutely free. Hallelujah. We thank God for it. Learn to celebrate what God is doing in the house. So please, the first of March. Are there still forms? Okay, well, there are still forms. I understand that there are some of you, especially those who are from Kano and Mina. You can meet Bishop afterwards and you get it. And I know there was a pastor that told me he will be around. Please wait and collect it for yourself and your pastor. We believe you have been blessed by this message. For additional information, call 81 38 or 80 Five zero eight seven three five or zero zero three four zero zero three nine three six. You can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash Koinonia Eternity Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash Koinonia underscore ENI. You can also download our messages on www.forshared.com. Eternity Network International, duplicating the fullness of God's life on earth. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message.